I'm Jai Sugarum and you're watching Sonima.com. Today we'll explore four yoga postures for inflexible people or those new to yoga. With me today is Luis and Roman and we'll begin by starting in downward facing dog. Start on your hands and knees on the earth and we'll place the hands right under the shoulders and the knees under the hips and then we'll tuck the toes and then push the earth away from us and lift the hips and thighs high in the air, coming back into downward dog, come back into downward dog, and relax the head and neck, okay? And you guys can see that the, the shape is a little awkward here, so we'll start to walk the hands forward to lengthen out the dog. Good, and then now push the earth strongly with your hands and make sure you root the index knuckle down. As you push into the index knuckle, feel the upper arm bone roll to the side and then draw the shoulder blades into the body. Feel long through the waist, and then push into the balls of the feet and strengthen the legs. For this one, it'll be great for building strength and for adjusting your body in relationship to the earth. When you push into something, you tend to get lighter because there's a relationship and your muscles start to draw close to the bones. So I would say stay here for about 15 to 20 deep breaths or until you build your endurance to get to that level. Okay. On your next exhale, bend the knees and walk the feet behind the hands, keeping the feet hip distance apart. Now as you inhale, look up. Optionally, you can hold the elbows using that weight to traction the upper body and allow the upper body to pour out of the waist like water coming out of a waterfall. Now, as you can see, this can be very challenging if you're new Using a prop, it has three levels. The block has level one, level two, and level three. Choose one that will allow you to adjust that index knuckle again strongly into the earth, thereby maintaining a relationship with the earth and drawing the earth's energy into the body. This is Uttanasana, which is a standing forward bend. You can relax the head and neck. And one of the mistakes we often make with this posture is we collapse all of the weight in the heels. So sense right now if you're doing that and try to balance the weight between the front of the foot and the back of the foot. And once you're there, you wanna engage the quadriceps so that the hamstrings are feeling safe to release. You wanna tighten under the navel so the lower back feels protected. Hey, the traction here is really good. If you release the weight of the skull, the neck can feel elongated and spacious. Okay? On your next inhale, look up, remove the props if you have them, and then exhale, press back to downward facing dog. And again, connect to the length of the waist and the full traction and length of the spine. You can soften the knees and then come down to sit on the earth right onto your heels and then Sit to the left side and stretch your legs forward in Dandasana, which is the staff posture. Now, we'll prepare for a seated forward bend, which if you're inflexible, you can see that the pelvis is tilted back. It's really neat to use blankets to prop the hips up so that the pelvis can tilt forward, thereby lengthening the waist, keeping the lungs available and free so that it's easier to forward bend. So we'll sit on these props, sit on the blanket, Roman. And Luis is also on blankets. And you want to put your hands back on the earth. Flexion of the feet strengthens the quadriceps. So we don't want to forward bend with weak quadriceps because it'll predispose the hamstrings to injury. So keeping the chest open, if you're unable to reach for your toes or feet, you can always use a strap. And it's great to belt the balls of the foot, not the heels or the middle. The balls of the feet will open the lines in your calves, the gastroc, and the hamstrings. So open your chest and exhale, fold forward. Now, if you don't have a belt, a handy prop is a, a towel. And again, we're going to strap the balls of the feet. Inhale, look up. Exhale, tighten the waist and bow forward. Don't sacrifice the strength of the quadriceps, remembering that the front body is actually protecting the back body. Energetically, this is a very interesting posture because there's an intimacy involved in folding forward into yourself. The hinge at the hips indicates an energy of surrender. We can let go temporarily of all of our goals and our ambitions, those things that cause stress, and just sink into the breath. On this one, I want to recommend 25 
to 30 breaths because the earth is supporting you. You don't have to work against gravity so much. So stay in this for a longer stretch than the other postures. Okay, on your next inhale, release the belt or the towel and make sure you come off of the props for the next posture. Our fourth posture is going to involve bending the knees to the sky, putting the feet on the earth. We'll wrap the left arm around the knees and squeeze the knees close. We'll ground the seat really strong, and then you want to rotate the rib cage and torso to the right, take the right arm behind you, continue to ground the right sitting bone, and then twist to the right, stretching the gaze to the right. This is called the TP twist, and I want to recommend about 10 maybe 15 breaths each in this posture. Make sure the knees stay close. Make sure the breath is long and even. Okay, keep the inhale the same as the exhale. We'll inhale, come forward and switch the grip. Put the right arm around the knees. Exhale, squeeze the knees, ground the seat, twist to the left. And again, stretching the gaze to the left helps to direct that energy of twisting. And feel the twist come more from the thoracic spine. You don't want to twist where the sacrum is down below. So that involves really grounding the sitting bones. Okay. Beautiful. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, stretch your legs forward. Return to Dandasana for a breath. Okay. And then inhale, look up. And exhale, carefully use your hands or bend your knees and lay down for corpse pose. We'll take rest. Watch your head back here. Slip forward a little bit. Okay. Relax your feet and legs so the feet turn out. Relax your arms. And relax the skull and the weight of the body. Make sure you stay in this posture for at least seven or 10 minutes or as long as you need to feel balanced. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this helps you with your yoga practice.